We here at The Big Picture and on my radio show have been doing our best to keep you updated with the latest developments coming out of Japan as that nation tries to deal with one of the worst nuclear catastrophes in the history of the world. To help us do that, tonight I'm joined by a few special guests in the studio who've flown here from Japan to share their stories and to warn the world about the dangers of nuclear power. Later this week, they will travel to the United Nations where they will call on the UN to recognize human rights violations against children caused by the Fukushima crisis and ask the UN to stop its global promotion of nuclear energy. Here to tell their stories are Eileen Miyoko-Smith, Executive Director of Green Action, based in Kyoto, Japan, and co-founder of Stop the Manju. She is also co-author of the book Minamata about the Japanese methylmercury pollution. Kaori Izumi, Director of Shutomari. Am I saying that right? Shutomari. 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 And co-director of Save Fukushima Children uh, Hokkaido and Red, Ribbon, and Red Ribbon Hokkaido Africa Support Group. And Kevin Camps, radioactive waste watchdog at Beyond Nuclear. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. And thank you for thank joining you. us. Um, uh, Kaori? Eileen. I, Eileen. Okay. Uh, I, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Eileen. Um, what's the situation in Japan right at this moment? Well, the situation in Japan right now is that there are 300,000 children living in Fukushima, and uh, about 75 percent of, of the children are going, for example, to schools that are so contaminated that they would be radiation control areas and nuclear power plants where uh, adults over eight, uh, children over um, individuals under 18 will not be legally allowed. Um, the radiation levels are very high. Uh, in Japan, uh, they aren't evacuating people unless it's 20 millisieverts a year exposure. Now, that's incredibly much higher than Chernobyl, when yeah. mandatory evacuation was 5 millisieverts a year. Wow. And, and we know that now looking back on it, many, many people died as a consequence of the, of the Chernobyl exposure. Um, Kaori, uh, what, what, what are the Japanese people not being told? that um, the Fukushima is not the area for human uh, habitation, that everybody should be evacuated immediately in the highly contaminated areas. There are many people they evacuated on their own because the government didn't. But now the government is even ta you know, bringing these people back by uh, building and temporary housing. Really? Yes. Bringing people back into the... Yes, because uh, they fear the, 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 the community, the, the prefecture will disappear, and the economy will disappear. Right. And that's the, what they said. Yeah. Is, there, is there, I know, after the, um, after the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs, there was a phenomena that I guess lasts to this day of people who survived that or their ancestors being... Um, uh, there's a Japanese word for it, I forget, but in English it would be a kind of pariah. Pardon? But a pariah uh, because contaminated, people feel they're yeah. contaminated. They, people don't want yep. them marrying into their families, right. things like that. Are we seeing this all over again? Yeah. Yes, it's happening. Uh, people who self-evacuate, they go to a different area in Japan, and then the, the citizens there uh, are afraid of getting close to them or touching them. Or, and children um, who've, who've, whose families have self-evacuated, um, there's a lot of prejudice against the children. That's, that's tragic. Kevin, what, what impact, you know, Fukushima has been out of the mainstream and corporate news in America for a long, long time. Um, what impact is that having in the United States? I, you know, I noticed the other day that, that uh, Rick Perry's talking about they're building a couple of nukes on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, they've enlisted a partner who really knows how to run nuclear power plants, TEPCO. I mean, is that still going on? Well, I think uh, that project took a mighty blow from the Fukushima nuclear catastrophe because it was not only Tokyo Electric Power Company as a partner, it was also Toshiba Nuclear of Japan. It was also Hitachi Nuclear of Japan. It was even the Japanese federal government in the form of the Japan Bank for International Cooperation. Because of Fukushima, that project took a mighty blow. In fact, the U.S. partner, NRG of New Jersey, has said they will spend no more money on the project. But they're still interested in getting the license from what I call the Nuclear Rubber Stamp Commission because they could then sell that license to some other American company who might be willing to take the risk.
DNRC. Kay, Kay Ori, what's the uh, what's the message that, uh, as somebody who has seen and, and experienced this in Japan, you would the main message you would want to convey to Americans? You know, the the immense suffering of uh, people in Fukushima. You know, the only way how these people, the, it, it makes some meaning, is that we learn now that we have to stop nuclear power, that it, we cannot afford another Fukushima. And we are appealing to the world to put an end to a nuclear power. We had enough. And so that's your appeal to yeah, the world. Yeah, where is next if we don't stop immediately? Yeah. Could be Indian Point. It could be. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the same type of reactor, I believe. It's, it's a different design, but it has its different. own particular pathways to yeah. disaster. Yeah. We do have 23 identical twins to Fukushima Daiichi here in the United States, though, including Vermont Yankee, Oyster Creek. Yeah. Eileen, what's uh, uh, around the world? Uh, here in the United States, uh, for example, uh, there's, there was a controversy from a movie called Gasland about when they were fracking, when uh, a, form, a form of gas extraction, people's well, their water was catching on fire. And so now it's no longer being covered in the American media because you can't turn on a TV in the evening without seeing an advertisement for the gas companies. They are putting so much money into the big networks that the networks are no longer covering the story of gas contamination. Uh, the nuclear industry is large, powerful in the United States, lots of interconnections with the big media. Are, are, are the media of Europe, for example, South America, the rest of Asia, um, Australia, other countries, are they as interlocked with, the, with these industries, with the nuclear and the, and the fossil fuel industries, that, that Fukushima is falling off their radar screen as well as, as in the United States? Uh, I think so. Um, it's fallen off a lot, except uh, some countries know. I mean, Germany is still doing very good coverage of Fukushima. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in Australia sometimes and other places, uh, but in the U.S. it's really fallen off. It's shocking because the two countries that haven't learned from the Fukushima accident, the main ones are Japan and the U.S. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of Fukushima people are quite concerned about the reactors here in the U.S., especially the ones that are earthquake uh, prone, like the ones in California on the San Onofre and Diablo Canyon. Because um, they know that you know earthquakes and nuclear power plants don't mix. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We just have like 20 seconds, but uh, uh, Kevin, the the these nuclear po many of these nuclear power plants and the ones there were designed or built by General Electric, yes. were they not? Mm -hmm. Which is 49 percent owner of NBC. I mean, this I, is that a coincidence? Well, uh, Jeffrey Immelt was sent by Obama to Japan to help out after the Fukushima nuclear catastrophe began, but the Japanese media reported that he largely hid out so that he wouldn't be served liability papers oh because my. his product exploded and now has ruined so many lives. Amazing. Thank you very much, all of you, for coming tonight. Thank it's you. much appreciated. Meanwhile, on the global warming front, a new Ipsos poll finds that a majority of Americans, 83%, now believe global warming is occurring. We've been running nuclear plants here in the United States saying, hey, this is an alternative to global warming causing coal power plants. Well, one of the reasons why global warming is happening, however, differ depending on which political party responds to the poll. 37% of Democrats believe global warming is man-made, while only 14% of Republicans believe the same thing. Which means the United States is still the only nation in the world that considers man-made global warming up for debate and nuclear power a real, viable, wonderful alternative. So, you know, we're really the only country in the world that's not doing something serious about this. We let our politicians be bought and intimidated by the fossil fuel industry and the big nuclear industry. And the same, frankly, goes for our media. The, the, you know, it's, it's, it's the dollars are, are winning. And you know, the, the, the real state of things is actually pretty grim. The Supreme Court of the United States has given the oil oligarchs, like the Kochs, the, the, the power to fund politicians, the power to build or destroy politicians. And they're using that, not specifically the Kochs, but in general, the whole, the, the whole industry, the nuclear industry, the oil industry. And, and, I, and I, I conflate them because the nuclear industry has been presented to us as the way 
by some by by the president, in fact, as a way away from greenhouse gas producing oil and coal plants. And it's just it's it's not. It shouldn't be. But instead, we see things like the American Legislative Exchange Council um, buying legislation. We see think tanks that are being bought and paid for by oligarchs here in the United States that are writing legislation, that are literally writing legislation that's being introduced in state houses and, and, and hiring people to go on talk shows, to be, to be experts on television, to write op-eds for newspapers, to, to influence the public debate to suggest that, well, you know, okay, maybe global warming is happening. If it is, the answer's got to be nuclear power. I think not.